it was finally time for NASA to launch Artemis 1, the first step in going back to the moon. But then NASA called a scrub for today. Partly because of a problem while fueling the rocket with liquid hydrogen. There was a leak at that vent valve. So a few days later, they tried again, and NASA called a scrub for the launch attempt today. Again, because of problems with liquid hydrogen. It was a much larger leak. We, hydrogen is difficult to work with. It's why SpaceX and Blue Origin are designing rockets that won't use it. Our next generation rockets will be using methane as a fuel. Here's why NASA is using liquid hydrogen, even while SpaceX is moving away from it, and why it's causing delays to the Artemis launch. Liquid hydrogen packs the most power of any fuel when it comes to the energy it holds, nearly three times that of gasoline. When it's mixed with liquid oxygen, Hydrogen, although it's difficult to work with, it is the best propellant for giving you the maximum change in momentum of your rocket for a finite amount of rocket fuel. Dr. Philip Metzger spent nearly 30 years at NASA and worked on the space shuttle launch team. We had trouble in the space shuttle program with hydrogen leaks. Like in 1990, a Columbia mission was scrubbed three times because of hydrogen leaks. Even the very last mission of Space Shuttle Discovery was once officially scrubbed because of a hydrogen gas leak. The molecules are so tiny. They're made of two hydrogen atoms, and the hydrogen atom is literally the smallest atom in the whole cosmos. Most of the trouble lies in keeping it in liquid form, which happens when it's very, very cold, negative 423 degrees. The challenge lies in fueling the hydrogen tank, which is inside this orange part called the core stage. This tank has to be incredibly well insulated and specially sealed to deal with those tiny molecules and the extreme cold. But using liquid hydrogen also causes problems with other connected parts. Because the temperature is so low, every time you try to flow the hydrogen from the tank into the engine through pipes and valves, all the materials are going to shrink because of the cold temperature, which causes little tiny cracks to open up. So then those tiny atoms, tiny molecules can get through the cracks. These complexities are one reason why SpaceX's Starship is being designed to instead use liquid methane. Methane doesn't leak as much for a couple of reasons. For one thing, it is a much larger molecule. In the end, engineering is applied physics, and so it always comes back to some basic physics principles like the size of the atom that causes these problems. Liquid methane isn't as powerful as liquid hydrogen, but it is easier to work with. It doesn't have to be kept as cold, so the tanks don't need the same extreme insulation. There are also fewer problems with the connecting valves and pipes. It's a much more benign propellant to deal with as an engineering problem. SpaceX also has a good reason to use liquid methane. Scientists think it can be made on Mars. So the rocket that will eventually go to the red planet, their goal, is the same that could bring people back to Earth. So why is NASA still using tiny, leaky liquid hydrogen? One reason, it's part of a system that they've used for decades. Another is because of this 2010 congressional bill that first funded the rocket system now used for Artemis. It says NASA should use the existing workforce and assets, which includes existing contracts and propulsion systems, hydrogen. The politicians and the, the policy planners were trying to come up with a program that we could fit in the national budget, and they decided let's reuse space shuttle hardware. It's a decision that people argue about still. The head of NASA, former Senator Bill Nelson, who helped pass the bill, defended the decision to continue using liquid hydrogen after the second Artemis scrub. We did not have uh, any question about hydrogen. We deferred to the experts. Even though NASA has repaired hydrogen leaks before, Artemis is using nearly all new parts. So the scrubs aren't surprising to people like Dr. Metzger. This is a growing pain. Even if you're using the same components from the space shuttle, just the act of putting it together in a new vehicle is going to guarantee that you'll have challenges to work through. I mean, it could be something as simple as the way you routed the pipe, causing a little bit of side loading on the pipe, causing it to torque the connector, which causes a leak. You know, it could be any small little thing. 
although we are having more leaks than a system that's based in methane or, or another repellent, it's not going to be like this forever. NASA said these leaks are just part of the process of a new system and are confident that they will be fixed for future Artemis launches. But as long as they're using liquid hydrogen, leaks and scrubs are always possible.